All right, guys, so today I'm gonna real quick just go over kind of the beginning part of our next project. And um, the premise behind it is I want you guys to think about fears that you have. And I think that a lot of times, um, I don't know, that can encompass different things. It could be, like we talked about at the beginning of the year, we talked about like animals or critters that we are afraid of. Maybe it's like you're afraid of heights or maybe um, the dark or whatever. But I want you guys to think about like fears that you have and I want you to think about um, like kind of just in your sketchbook maybe jot down some ideas maybe you have a few different things that um, would kind of like fall into that category um, and then I want you guys to to think about okay here's your fear and then how you would illustrate the fear I want you to think about how you could take on this fear and then how you could maybe like feel better at it. It doesn't mean it clears up the fear. Like, so for example, I don't like snakes. And so I could put myself in a position where I'm hanging out around snakes more. I don't want to do that to be completely honest, but maybe I had a friend who has a snake and maybe I would actually just like force myself to like hold that snake or like check that snake out. Or maybe I would um, like go to the zoo more, the pet store more and I would just like become more comfortable. I don't know, like again, I'm not really necessarily comfortable with that, but I could get to a place where I probably felt better about them. Um, maybe if I understood them more or like knew that they weren't gonna like hurt me or whatever. Um, but I would need to like do something to kind of work on that fear. And I want this project, um, just like here's my example, all right? And so like, I want this project to like show you taking, like here's your, your fear. And again, this is metaphorical. This isn't like literally, this person's afraid of like these monsters or whatever. But I want you to represent like your fear in a certain way. And it can be realistic. It could be like me looking at a snake um, or it could be me like looking at this like creature and it's like scaring the heck out of me. But then I want you to be moving from a place where you're like afraid of it to like trying to take it on. And maybe you're not conquering it, but you're at least willing to like engage with it. And then my final picture, it's kind of hard to see, but you can see the girl like taking on you know the big thing so she's metaphorically taking on this fear that she has so i want you to think about it, again it, yours doesn't have to be metaphoric it could be realistic it could be again like with my snake analogy it could be me and then i'm like going to a pet store and i'm like holding a snake or like i'm going to a friend's house and they have a snake and i'm like holding it um whatever but i want you guys to think about like and just start going through like kind of this planning process of what the fear is going to be and then how you could take it on. And I want you to doodle some ideas, okay? Like start to kind of sketch out in your sketchbook, quick little drawings, don't do anything detailed, quick little like drawings um, of what this could look like, okay? And you can see with mine, there's like a big frame and two smaller frames. Um, so big frame, two smaller frames, they don't do the same size, but it could be orientated in different ways. Uh, kind of be thinking about that, how that's gonna fit. Also consider like the angle of which you're seeing the person. So like this is what's called a worm's eye view and it's looking from the ground up. This is a bird's eye view. It's looking from the sky down and this is just a normal side view. I don't wanna see your images taking up all of them being side views, okay? And the last thing is like, notice how much space the subject matter fills in. She fills in this whole box, okay? I don't want just this little tiny person and then like all this background, okay? Unless that makes sense. So here she's small and the thing's big, but the thing and her probably take up a third of the picture. And it like, it makes sense how this like works. Like a little bit of background or whatever, there's like skulls and stuff like that, like in there, the skeletons and stuff. Um, so it could kind of make sense this. Like this again, this is a third. Um, you can see like at least a third of like that box is being taken up. So uh, today is a planning day. Today is like kind of just playing around figuring out what your fear is gonna be. If you're gonna do it metaphorically or re, like actually like what, like the situation is how you're gonna take this on and what those three frames are gonna like involve, like how you're gonna like engage with it. And then again, you don't have to conquer it, but how are you gonna at least work on it, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. Um, today's like a planning day, like I said, and we're kind of like sketching stuff out. Um, but then we'll kind of move from there, like with the next step. So. Hopefully you guys are doing good. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.